hell of surgery and recovery. If there was a part of my cancer journey that felt closest to hell, it was the surgery and the recovery that followed. Chemotherapy was a test of endurance, yes, but surgery was an immediate plunge into a darkness I didn't fully expect. Even though I was warned of the risks and complications, nothing could have prepared me for the physical pain, emotional toll, and mental strain that came after the operation. The surgery itself was invasive, as they had to remove not only the tumor, but also my organs and some surrounding tissues. When I woke up, groggy and disoriented in the recovery room, the first thing I felt was the heaviness of it, all the weight of what had just been done to my body. The initial pain was like nothing I had experienced before. It wasn't the kind of pain that aches and dulls with time. It was sharp, constant, and unforgiving, like my body was screaming at me for what had been done to it. The nurses were there, of course, with their gentle reassurances and rounds of medication to dull the pain. But despite their best efforts, the discomfort was relentless. I remember being overwhelmed by the helplessness of it all. Simple tasks, like shifting my body in bed or sitting up, required assistance. I wasn't used to being so dependent on others, and it weighed on me emotionally. That sense of helplessness was a far cry from the independence I once took for granted. The days in the hospital were a blur of medications, checkups, and brief moments of sleep interrupted by sharp jabs of pain. It's strange how time seems to stretch when you're in that much discomfort. Hours felt like days, and days felt like weeks. I would watch the clock, willing it to move faster, hoping that the next round of medication would bring me some relief. But there were moments when I feared that this was my new reality, that I would never feel normal again. The emotional impact of the surgery was as heavy as the physical pain. My body felt foreign to me, like it no longer belonged to me. Looking at the scars, I was reminded of the brutality of cancer, how it leaves its mark on you in more ways than one. The scars were a constant reminder that I had been opened up, invaded and altered. And while they were a sign that the cancer had been removed, they also felt like proof of the battle I had just endured. There was a part of me that grieved for the body I once had, for the person I was before cancer had torn through my life. The recovery process was just as brutal. Once I was discharged from the hospital, I was met with the harsh reality that healing wasn't as simple as resting in bed. The road to recovery was slow, frustrating, and filled with setbacks. There were moments when I felt like I was making progress, only to be knocked back by new waves of pain or complications I hadn't anticipated. It was a roller coaster. One day, I'd feel like I was on the mend, and the next, I'd be struggling to get through the basics, like standing or walking. One of the hardest parts of recovery was learning to be patient with myself. I had this unrealistic expectation that I would bounce back quickly, that my body would heal with the same determination that I had approached the cancer fight. But recovery doesn't work that way. It demands time and surrender. I had to accept that healing wasn't something I could control. I had to let go of the idea that I could push through it by sheer willpower. The frustration of wanting to feel better faster often clashed with the reality of how slow the process truly was. In those dark moments of recovery, I found myself questioning whether I would ever feel like myself again. The surgery had saved my life, but at what cost? My body had been changed, and I was unsure if I would ever return to the person I was before. There was fear in that uncertainty. What if I couldn't bounce back? What if this pain, this weakness, was now a permanent part of me? But as the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, something remarkable began to happen. Little by little, my body began to heal. The pain, though still present, became more manageable. I learned to celebrate the small victories. The first time I could walk unaided, the day I no longer needed the strongest painkillers, 
the first night I slept without waking in agony. These moments became milestones in my recovery journey, reminding me that healing, though slow, was happening. What I came to realize during that long recovery was that surgery, in all its brutality, was a necessary step toward life. The hell I went through was not just an end to the cancer, it was a rebirth of sorts. I had to let go of the old version of myself, the one untouched by this experience, and embrace the person I was becoming through it. That person was stronger, more resilient, and more grateful for the life that remained. The scars I bear from the surgery are still a reminder of the pain, but they have also become a symbol of survival. I wear them as a testament to the fight I endured and the will it took to get through the darkest days. Surgery and recovery were hell, no doubt about it, but they were also part of a larger journey toward healing, toward life, toward survival. Now, looking back, I understand that the road through surgery was one I had to travel. It wasn't a choice, but it was a part of the battle I had to fight. And in fighting it, I discovered reserves of strength I never knew I had. Surgery tested me in ways I didn't anticipate, but it also showed me that recovery, though slow and painful, is possible. It taught me patience, perseverance, and most importantly, the value of life itself. The background music is from Serene Music, Superb Nature. You can find it at my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.